Alola and welcome to part 59 of my let's play of Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, we got through the insidey bit of the Aether Paradise and now we out here in a top down view with Team Skull. So let us proceed. Do we battle these people? Well, no. No. Who the heck are you? Who the heck are you? Don't you do something that makes other people sad? Well, ah, here's my boy. I'll fight you. I gotta keep the boss from getting his hands dirty, so I'm gonna wreck you myself. You better check yourself before you wreck me yourself, sir. Let's do this. Straight into battles today. No messing. No messing. Golbat. I can't touch this because Leonard's out front. Sorry about the fact that we've not seen anyone but Leonard for the last few episodes, uh, guys. But I'm trying to... Uh, if we have a look at my team, he's still not really over-leveled. So I was tr I'm trying to sort of get him up to the old level... I'm trying to level up to level 40. So I thought I'd just stick with him until he gets there and then switch him out, probably for Julie, because she's the lowest level. And just go from there, basically. Right then, like and rock. We got some mean look. That gold bat's looking at me mean. Can no longer escape. I'm glad I mean looked on turn one, because I was thinking of um, safeguarding. That's what I quite often do, turn one before I switch out. But that would have been disastrous, because I would have had to... Really slow ball Leonard dying because it would have taken ages. But he would have eventually died because he could not touch a goal bat. Anyway, Rock Team does it in one. That didn't happen. Wasn't me who got crushed. It was my Pokemon, right? You think so too, right? <laughs> sure. Whatever helps, mate. Whatever helps. Right, so onwards. Oh, I love how Howard just fights one guy and we're just here, like, fighting an army. This is for the sponsor who supports Team Skull. Is this, like, where you named up your your little sponsor? Team Skull is sponsored by... I don't know. McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. A lowland fatty cake? It is. I dropped your Pokemon out of my team. It's your whole team, and I dropped him for my panda. For me, Julie. And now I'm going to show you why. Get thousand waves. Look at that. That was a crit, Angela. It's that crunch. Wow, does a lot. It's alright though. We got this. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. Leonard, 38. Booyah! Look at them stats. I didn't look at them very carefully. All our strength comes from the money we've gotten. Oh, you're not getting much money then, are you? By the looks of things. Uh, let me just go ahead and slap a super potion on Leonard. Didn't the super potions only used to do 50 HP? Is it just me or are they definitely making Pokemon easier? I'm sure it used to only do 50. Okay, sunshine. Yo, yo, yo! Let me speak on this! Olale! Pretty strong, ain't you? <laughs> and go right ahead. I'm no numbskull. I don't fight battles I can't win. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. He just refuses to fight me. Because he's not stupid enough to. Mm. So I'm still not strong enough. All the days that I struggled alone and lonely, it was all for nothing. Is that it? <laughs> Pretty much. I don't. I can't remember a voice for Guzman. I'm going to guess I need one now. Um... I, I, I don't know what my voice was for Guzma. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma is here. 
Did that spoiled little... Did I, I did that spoiled little brat a favour and crushed him. Yeah, that was me. You know, I kind of liked you, kid, leaving home like that and wanting to get stronger and stronger. You had some real guts, going so far as to come... Uh, going so far as coming over to Team Skull and rejecting your own mother. That was impressive. And now it's your turn. You little misfits keep getting up in my grill <laughs> like a cloud of smoke that I can't brush away. Up in my grill. Wow. It's time I put out your fire at the source. He, d he did well to say all that while laughing constantly. Rawr. Go on then, Team Skull Guzma. Let's do this. Galissapod. Oh yeah, he's the bug guy, isn't he? Bug guy. Leonard might not be the best fit. Excuse me, it is very early in the morning. <laughs> well, it's not very early, it's fairly early in the morning. Let's go with Lycan Rock. Rock type versus bug types. Over 41, this Galissapod is, I've just noticed. Swords Dance! Oh, the setup. Okay. Okay! That's that's a little bit worrying. I'm not sure what it can... Unless it's... Is it part water, this thing? Right, well, let's... We're faster. Let's hope this does a lot. It does over half. That's good. Lowers its speed, but it doesn't matter. Oh, we made it switch out. Beautiful. We've undone the Swords Dance. Very nice. Very nice. He's got a pincer. Mold Breaker pincer. Oh, it's faster, and it's got a fighting type move, and it... Wow, one shots me. I'm in trouble now. How am I going to deal with bugs? Nope. Are you just fighting type? Or are you just dark? I think you're just fighting, aren't you? Right, it's good. Let's go with power. Go on, Nike. You know what's coming first, guys. You know what's coming first. Drip break. Oh, yeah. We, he just used that, and then I sent out a normal time. Pins are so powerful. Let's strike a violent pose. And let's make sure we don't take a second hit from this thing. <clears throat> let's do this, Nike. Let's do it. Here we go. Up you go. I love how Snorlax has gone from like that Pokemon that's just like lying there and no one can move. Oh, what? To, uh. Well, oh, Nike's going down. Just in case <clears throat> he uses anything else. No, but great. Oh, in case Nike dodges it in time on my shout or anything good like that. Whoa, he toughed it out! What a guy! Oh, what a girl. Oh, my God. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. I can't remember what I was in the middle of saying now. <laughs> that just completely distracted me. That completely threw me. I can't believe Nike just survived that hit. Well done, Nike. Body slam, perfect. I didn't really want Giga Impact then, I wanted body slam. Very nice. Um, actually, we might as well keep battling, to be honest. To be honest. My screen's intimidate, not good. Bug Buzz are probably knocked me out. I just thought I'd give it a go with Snarl with Nike. No, yes, Nike twice! Body Slam. Get the power. Get the power. Because we're going to wake up next turn so we could rest. Yes! Oh my god, now we can rest, surely. We should be faster. Wake up, wake up, Nike. Wake up, it's a beautiful morning. Yes, Nike! Oh, Nike is the real MVP. 
That's twice now. Boom, boom, boom. Special defense fell. No one cares. Alright then. Let's sleep talk. I'm going to say don't wake up early. I'm sure that's a thing as well. Shouldn't be from rest though. Because rest sleep talk is kind of a strategy. Ah, oh, sleep talk rest. Not rest sleep talk. Now we've got sleep talk rest. Eek! Shook itself awake so you wouldn't worry. Now do we... I think we rest here. No, do you know what? Night's, night's done her work. Let's just finish this thing off. And then we'll switch. We'll keep Nike awake. Alive. Awake's actually the best description for it, really, isn't it? Alright, Galissa Pod. Switch. Um... Speed 70, 66, 106, 37. I wonder if we can do this. I wonder if we can do this with um, Leonard, seeing as Gillespod's already taken a heavy hit. It's the fastest man. I wanted to get the attack in. Don't think we'll be able to do it in one, but we might be able to do it in two. First impression is that that's a fake out version two, isn't it? Oh my god, what? Maybe it's not. Unless it's just a really powerful fake out. <laughs> oh, a really powerful Pokemon. Not sure how good that's going to be, but. <laughs> Nothing. Ah, but we are faster. <clears throat> so now we can KO it. <laughs> Sit down. Right, this battle's tough. Cause especially because he's just a bug type trainer. But our rock type got molly locked early. Level 40, our first level 40. That's a poison type. I'm going to give Julie a shot at this. I don't think it's going to work. I think Julie's going to faint. But if Julie can win this, this, against, this battle against this high level spider. Then, um, definitely will level up Shadow Sneak. Body Slime, get the power, get the power, Julie, get the power. Nope. Okay, we can live another Shadow Sneak. Although, the power won't matter if we're fighting against Shadow Sneaks. No power. How much has two Shadow Sneaks done? 65. Got a Stomp. Let's go with Stomp. Let's Stomp on this spider. Oh. Hope that didn't get picked up on the mic. That was my stomach rumbling. I'm hungry, guys. I decided to record this before eating because I'm going to do washing up before I have breakfast. And I didn't fancy that. Fell stinger, that's super effective, but doesn't knock, knock Bouncy out. Go on, Bouncy. I'm going to let Bouncy go down here. I'm going to let Bouncy go down so I get a free switch into something else. This Ariados is causing problems now. What? Why? Come on then, Barth.
Base 90. Base 90 plus stab. Well, maybe should have gone for the sing. Although it's gone for the shadow sneak, which I don't think it's going to do that much. Wow, it does quite a lot. And it's down! Lovely. Lovely. Go on, Julie. Go on, me, Julie. Oh, I didn't read his text. Never mind. Never mind. We'll get over it. You say now, Guzma? Guzma, what is wrong with you? Talking to yourself in the third person. Not only talking to yourself, but talking to yourself by name. Looks like I got no choice. Go on, go through. Well, you do have a choice. You could just still stand in the way, couldn't you? Right. Um, is this going to be a battle? Because we hurt. We've got 10 revives. Two max revives. I think we used the 10... I like that you can use multiple ones. There we go. Right. So at least we got our team of six back. Because I don't, I don't know what's coming next. It might be another battle. I'm a little bit worried, actually, if it's a battle. Because our team's hurt. Okay, can't go through... Can't do anything on that side. Ooh, hello. Hello, piece of Zagard, piece of Leonard. Can't go that way. Okay. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Okay, so pretty linear. We're going this way. Oh, a cutscene. <clears throat> Oh, do we have to do Lily's voice? Um, oh, we should have a voice for Lucy and I can't remember if we had one or not, but... Um... Ah, he pays her. That sounds far too nice, considering she's obviously head baddie at this point. It's been a while since we last saw you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you came? That's what she said. You actually came to help me, he pays her? Mm -hmm. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. Hmm, so you know each other, you know one another. A gifted young trainer like Ibeza, and he bothers with someone like you. Oh. How disappointing. Hmm, I don't need your approval, mother. Mother? I have your permission. I will save Cosmog. Ma, you do say such incomprehensible things. Calling me mother? I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. Well, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's one of those episodes where the voices kill my voice. <coughs> so, tell me how you'll save that Pokemon. What can you do, Lily? You failed to convince me to listen to you. You don't even have the strength of a trainer. The only thing you've ever done on your own is steal someone else's research material. You're not beautiful enough for my world, but fine. Since you're here anyway, you can watch me summon my sweet beast and then... You can leave. Hmm, I'm not being foolish or selfish. I'm asking you to listen, mother. Hmm, do not sacrifice Cosmog for that beast's sake. If you open the ultra wormhole, Cosmog will, Cosmog will die. You're right, it probably will die. Because I'm going to force it to use its power whether it wants to or not. Lovely ever. Maybe if you really had been a daughter to me, I wouldn't listen to you. Too bad. Oh, and she's gone. Me, Beza. I really am happy that you came after me. So she said. But look, I have to be selfish again. I have to ask you one more time, please. Help me, help Nebby. <laughs> I have to save Nebby. I hate that game for this voice. It was funny at first, but she's got so much dialogue in this game. And he's gone. Hello. Oh, and
Banshee's up here, how helpful that's going to be. What is this place? You should know. It's like your mum's house. Hurry, this way. Actually wants you to be there. Right, well, she said hurry, so let's let's press one for those four steps. Made a big difference, that. Made a big difference, that, guys. Episode is one and a half seconds shorter. You're welcome. What do you think? This is my private collection. My precious babies. They will be preserved for eternity here. Just slowpoke being slower than usual. Nice little Pikachu there. Why you'd want to preserve a Pikachu for all eternity, I don't know. But my poor beast, what confusion, what rage it must feel arriving in this strange world. It would not be right to confine its feelings in such a small case as these ones. It will need to express itself. I think I will let it express its, all its fury upon the Alola region as it will. <laughs> oh, here he is. Howdy, howdy, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is, um, Gladiator 2. Whoa, howdy, ho, Lily 2! Man, I'm so glad to see you, okay? Pretty sure she's not a man. But, it's 2017, let's not trigger Tumblr by a human agenda. Ah, oh, sweet how. So you came too? Hey. Hmm, I'm glad you must you be so untidy? Yeah, sort your hair out. I've been commenting on that a lot recently. Like, you've got this antenna thing going on. Will you listen to me at least? You mustn't open the ultra wormhole. We cannot let the beast run wild. I think she knows the dangers. I don't I don't think telling her it's dangerous is kind of the point now. Oh, look at that little fade to try and point out who they all are. The daughter who stole my Cosmo from me and the son who stole who took my Titan all. And all I ever did was give you two all the love I had, and all you did was betray me. You have no right to ask for my attention now. It's quite similar to Howl's voice, I've realised, just quieter. What? Daughter? Son? <laughs> look at We? You all are family? That's what daughter and son generally means, yep. Perhaps once we were, sweet Howl, but those wretches beside you left me. But it doesn't matter now. None of that matters now. I was able to open the ultra wormhole using just the gases we'd extracted from Cosmog when it was in Aether Paradise, wasn't I? But now I have Cosmog itself inside this crate here. If I use its entire body, how many ultra wormholes will I be able to open? How many do you need? Surely one's enough. How many sweet beasts will come to me then? Why can't they like come through the same wormhole one at a time? Is that not is that not a thing? Am I misunderstanding this? Mmm, please stop! If maybe it isn't, if you make it use up too much of its power, you don't understand what will happen. Yeah, he'll die, she said that. Like when we ran away from the paradise, I couldn't even move for ages after that. Right, and that's her point, Lily. If you use too much of its power, it will die. That's her point, Lily, you idiot. She said that. God, why are people so stupid? Why are good people in games and films and TV programs always the stupid ones? Watch. I will open the ultra wormhole for you. Come to me, my sweet beast. That is definitely what she said. Okay. Now we'll go on. Oh, there's a face. There's Cosmog. In a box. There's an ultra wormhole, I'm guessing. I'm going very cutscene heavy on this game. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Isn't your dress fancy? Oh! Gone cloudy. You know that's bad. That's a bad sign. Oh. Is this thing just turning up somewhere else? So do we go fight these things? Like, one at a time or something? Alright, what's the deal? What's the deal? I feel like we're getting quite far through the story now, now that we're actually encountering Ultra, Ultra Beasts. I feel like maybe we're going to end this series at some point in the not-too-distant future. Still, I, I still feel like we're a fair way away, but... We might actually finally finish Pokemon Moon for the first time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You see? Hello, Fildola. Pew! 
Oh, mushroom must be, must be so noisy even inside there. What an annoying Pokemon. The only thing I need from you is your power. Mm. Not your lip, young man. <laughs> but I will admit, it looks like that power has served me well. There should be plenty of beautiful beasts appearing all around Delola as we speak. Look, on a Carla and Pony, even on Melee Melee Island. Ho 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 ho. That's how you laugh. That's how you laugh, is it? So, uh, what are we doing? Near Millamele Island's Mahalo Trail. No. Nope. <laughs> Just a kahuna. Something, something. I don't know. It went off already. Wait, this disturbance, I feel. Hey, buddy. Oh, this one's a rare visitor. <laughs> Not fuss at all. He's just like, I'll fight you. You've come before the island kahuna. And, and Tapu Coco. That one's Coco, right? Nope. Did you come here as a guardian or just a battle? Does it matter? The other islands must surely be facing the same threat. I'm counting on you, my comrades. As Kahuna of this island, I, Hala, will support you. It's going to be well helpful against this interdimensional beastie thing. Yes, Jururur, indeed. Hey, hey, my sweet beast. Oh. Did I give him advice? I don't think I did in the end, did I? Madam Prez, the experiment was a success, huh? Looks like it's time to catch this wicked ultra beast to beat down these annoying upstarts. You're right. Guzma, quiet those children for me. I don't want to hear from them again. Just gets a gun out. It's like, yep, got it. I'll stop the beast. You probably won't, mate. My partner Null was born to be a beast killer. Oh, that's actually not a bad point. Ow, you take Guzma. What? I have to find this guy? Ibeza, stop the president. If we don't, Alola will be flooded with beasts. Ibeza, we mm, have to get Nemi back. Why would... Okay, okay, I saw I get it. I saw I get it. What a disappointment. To think that you're all so small-minded. You're going to startle my sweet beast, Ibeza. Looks like I'll need to sound you first. Bring it on! Come at me. Well, it's this, I guess. I don't know. Not bro, anyway. Maybe maybe she is. I don't know. 2017. Let's, let's, not, let's not assume her gender. Sends out a little fable with that casual toss. Just like, eh, send this one out. Go on, Leonard. Okay, yeah, there is a bat. Oh, we are healed. So I probably shouldn't have wasted those revives. Oh, well, you know what? It was a it was a smart move. Right, so if we safeguard turn one, then we can't be poisoned, burned, or put to sleep, or paralyzed, or anything like that. Cosmic power. That's a problem. But your defense rises one stage, Oh no, Dragon Dance only does one stage as well, doesn't it? But I'm set. Uh, you're allowing me to set up here, so once I get through your Clefable, I can get through your entire team. Oh dear. Hmm. We're just going to end up on a max attack versus max defense kind of situation here. But, hopefully then I'll be able to take down the Clefable. Even if it means potion spamming a little bit. Metronome. Explosion. <laughs> Fairy wind? Does the fet that super fet oh dragon, yeah, of course. Okay. <clears throat> well now, for the time being, I'm one attack boost ahead of Clefable's defense now. I'm on three, it's on two. Moon blast! Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> it's looking like a Snowy MZ job, this Nike. If she's a fairy trainer, then 
I guess uh, Leonard wasn't going to be that helpful anyway. It's poor Verizon Pancake, this. Oh! Just... What's that? Triple its defense and special defense? This isn't going to do that much, I don't think. It's a powerful move, though. It's a Giga Impact Z move. Stab Giga Impact from a Snorlax. Look at this Gen 1 battle. I've just realized Snorlax versus Clefable. So we meet again. <laughs> oh, we struck a violent pose. It's not technically too late. Still in the cutscene. <laughs> right, quiet then, Snorlax. Imagine how poor Fries and Pancake would have looked on Gen 1. It'd have been like wiggle left, wiggle right, and then Clefable flashes a couple of times to show it's taken impact. Wow! Wow! Okay, so let's body slam this thing now. We should be able to outstall this thing. Especially if we can get a power, which we don't. But I should just be able to rest, sleep, talk my way through this. It's a shame that Leonard got taken down. I didn't realise it was going to have Moonblast because it didn't go straight for it. She actually set up before attacking. I mean, well done. Can Cluffy will not be paralysed? Or something. Weather ball. Alright, I'll take that. <laughs> Come on, will you just get the power? Isn't it a 30% chance? Well, I've done three now, so... Probably it's pretty high I should have got one. Am I going to die to the next one? Should I have rested this turn? Power. Yes! 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 Rest, because I don't know what's coming out next. Special attack felt. That's fine. Come on, please get a body slam. Please bo get a body slam. First choice body slam. Second choice gig of impact. Third choice rest. Metronome. Metronome's dangerous. Shadow bone. That'll do. Yes, Nike. Yes. Nike is such an MVP at the moment. Boom. Level 40. Second Pokemon to level 40 as well. Beware. You are a fighting type. Maybe normal fighting. Something like that. Can't remember. Been a while since I've encountered one. Pretty sure it's got fighting in it though. Try disarming voice. Hang on, how do I not know how effective moves are? I'm sure I've seen a beware. Unless I've just seen them on YouTube videos and I've not actually encountered one yet. Oh my god! Will another disarming voice take that down? Let's, let's test that, shall we? <laughs> no, it will not. And it used hammer arm, it didn't use take down. Speed fell. That's 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 pretty good actually. Have we got Lycan Rocks actually our fastest now. Can also set up. We've got a Howl Lycan Rock once we get... But it's too risky against this... Uh... This fighting type. I'm going to go Bite because anything should knock it out now. And Bite's 100% accurate. Wow! Or not! 
That might just one shot like him, what that? This isn't going well, guys. Oh, no, not like a rock. You're, you're fainted. You're dead. Okay, we've still got the MVP in the back, Nike, over there. <coughs> hmm. What are the odds of... I think we'll outspeed now. After two speeds, out some hammer arms. Go on, Julie. Yes. I love that experience for Julie. Sit down. Sit down, beware. Lilligant. No, come on, Julie. Let's do this. Paralyze it. Oh. That's fun. Paralyze it. Come on. Come on, Julie. Paralyze it back. Yes. Beauty. Haha. -ha, have you got any of them? Lusamine? Teeter dance. It's only a one in three chance of hitting yourself with teeter dance with confusion on this gem. Or is it thirty percent? Either way, it's it's a lot less than it used to be. Let's go for some crits. Wow, it's still faster. That's crazy. Come on, Julie. Come on, Julie. Yes. That was not a crit. Double full power. Wow. Come on, Julie. No. Well, there's the one in three. So hopefully next turn. What do my other moves do? That swaps Pokemon. That never misses. I was hoping one of them might have like a stat drop or something. Three in a row. Oh, my God. Come on, Julie, you tear down this Lilligan. Oh dear, that might hurt. Yep. <laughs> good effort, Julie, good effort. You put up a really good fight. Right. Fight fire with fire. And therefore, grass with grass. Shall I parafuse this thing? Oh, it's got own tempo. But it gets fully powered for like the fourth time out of the last five turns or something. What does play nice do? Lowers its attack. Nah. Let's just stomp on it. Let's just do this. Come on, bouncy. Knock it out. Knock it out, bouncy. Knock it out. Nope, nope. Flinch. Oh, we're power flinching. We are power flinching. Oh, she withdraws. Oh, the play is very good. Very good. Oh, hang on. Who have we got left? Knight's only got normal type moves. Power gem. Rock type move. Trot kick. Lowers its attack. Power gem is a special move. Doesn't matter though, we're going to knock it out this turn. Shadow Ball. Unless that knocks us out. Go on, Bouncy! Yes. Sit down, Miss Magius. Miss Magius. Whatever, whatever your name is. No, I will not switch it. Switch out. I'm keeping Snorlax for whatever your last Pokemon is. So let's uh, either Power Flinch or just KO this thing. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Bouncy gains a level. Level 38, nicely done. These battles are getting tough, but they're, they're winnable. Milotic. Am I faster? I'm probably not, am I?
Get that moo moo milk down here. Yeah? Maybe could have just risked being faster. Oh, you safeguard. Trump is going to do a lot to this thing if we get one off. So it is faster, so Hydro Pump would have killed. Yeah, healing up was definitely the right play, actually, looking at it. Because unless it's got a nice move. Wow, we good. Is Top Kick 100% accurate? Yes, okay. Then there's no decision to be made. Hits two Hydro Pumps, though. Then again, she has had a share of bad luck with the, like, four out of five fully, pa fully paralyzed turns. This has been a long episode. Apologies if you don't like long episodes, but I haven't really had a stopping point. Yes. Another level for Bouncy. You're still not the MVP, though. Nike is definitely the MVP of this episode. How? How can you be so awful? I'm not. I am fantastic. I can't believe I won that battle. <laughs> that was a sketchy battle. She's strong. Oh, have you been hydro pumped? Is that is that what the problem is here? Uh? You dripping wet love. There you go. You're welcome. Now let's give you a rainbow bean thing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Lovely. <clears throat> right, more story? I don't know how long this episode's going to run. Just until the next stopping point, really. Hmm. All that I want is my precious beast. It's behind you. You've got it. I don't care about any of the rest of you. Oh. Oh. Now what's going on? No. The ultra wormhole is disappearing. Guzma, with me! We'll catch the beast using the beast ball that we've developed here. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Mm, mother! Bye. <laughs> He's off as well. Lovely. Alright. Is that a stopping point? Or do I have to follow her before I get a chance to save? Why? Maybe. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Maybe. What, what is it? Oh. It, it changed forms, and it's not moving. Okay, come on, let's get out of here. Nothing good can happen here. Right, so now can I save my game, or do you just expect everyone to be able to play for... Like an hour solid. The jinkies. You're all unharmed. Oh, thank goodness. So I remember giving her this voice. Yeah, maybe. But there's still a ton we have to do. There's the President and Guzma who both disappeared into the Ultra Wormhole. Not to mention Cosmog and why it stopped moving like that. Even if she is like that, Lutamine is still our mother. We can't just leave her in the Beast's world. We might be able to reach other worlds if we had Alola's legendary Pokemon on our side. If the people of Alola worship it. Oh no, wait, the people of Alola worship it, but I don't know if it's even real. Of course it is! After all, the beasts are real! I'm sure we can find it! We'll find the legendary Pokemon! Giddy as anything. Like, calm down, how everything will be fine. Calm down. Mmm, I have to thank you both, both you, Lisa, and you, Hal. Mm. No, not Gladian, though. Jinkies, Miss Lily, Miss Lolo. 
If you're in your poke, your friends would like to get some rest first and prepare a few beds in the staff's residential quarters. Gentles, we'll take you up on that. How's like, I don't need sleep! Yeah, I'm beat! <laughs> From jumping around like a moron, I'm guessing. Mmm, I think I'll sleep here. In the bed. Mmm, but I want to share with my mother. And I was small. You weren't invited to have that bed. Just one last time. Mm -hmm. No, you go in the residential quarters, like they said. Or the staff quarters, or whatever. Well, I don't know, I wasn't listening. Too busy trying to do a half decent Velma, which I wasn't gonna just clarify. I don't think for a second I was. The next day, we get to save the game. No? And she's gone! <laughs> Why do people keep leaving her on her own? She's clearly not to be left alone. She's not competent. Jinky, suppose her. Miss Lily is waiting outside if you're ready to meet her. Oh, right. Fair enough. Maybe she is competent. Right! Good grief! Right, let's save our game. Long, long episode today, but I got a lot done. We got a lot done. Snorlax Nike is the MVP. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget to share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time!